Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. And today, I have got a very special guitar in my lap. This is a 2020 Michael Bashkin OMC. Now, it's a little different than most OM shapes. It seems to be a little elongated. Uh, and the proportions are slightly different. It's his take on an OM. But man, is it comfortable. Now this one features a Swiss top over top of some outrageously gorgeous koa. Now he went ahead and, and bound the, the body all the way around with some rosewood with a little bit of maple purfling and black, it looks like, to give some good contrast between and separation between everything. Um, and same with the rosette it's it's got a koa rosette with some rosewood white and black purfling all the way through it um, now as you can tell this is a multi-scale guitar so it's actually 25 to 25.6 so it's just over a half inch fan which isn't very cumbersome especially since it really kind of looks like his master fret is right about the fifth fret so a lot of the fan is eaten this way towards the bridge so your left hand you don't have to adjust at all you just play the instrument like you normally would but get the benefits of the additional scale length on the bass especially if you like to kind of do some open tunings um, now it's got a an ebony bridge and an ebony fretboard here but I love his inlays for the fret markers. Um, they're kind of these, I don't, I'm not, I don't wanna call them boxes because the tip of it is actually an oval, but it does have that appearance of like a long box into each different fret here, which looks like they are they're kind of vibrant with the light. So they might be some sort of epoxy material or luminescent material that just really pops with the light. Now, um, they're very amber in color, which goes really well with these Evo gold fret wire. Um, and also, he's got the Goto HAP tuners, which are the height adjustable posts. That way so that you can actually dial in your break angle across the nut here with each different string. Uh, there's just an Allen set screw on the back, but he went ahead and accounted for that for you. So you don't really have to do that, but it gives you the ability to if you want to change your break angle at all. Now, um, he's got this lovely little micro volute here with a rosewood back cap and a rosewood head cap here, which is some simple maple purfling appointments throughout it. But enough about how lovely this thing looks. This has got such a very unique and deep voice for a Koa guitar. I really love the immediacy especially the mid-range I mean you barely even play it and it just it jumps out in your face um, and the other benefit of that is that the harmonics are uber responsive on this and not really not strident they're kind of round in texture and that must be just the way he voices these things um, now, if you've got any other further questions about this lovely 2020 OMC by Michael Bashkin, message alan at cedarrockstudio.com, and thanks for listening.